Once logged in, you will appear on your home screen. If you go to the left hand side, you will see there is now an option to view your reports. There are three different types of reports for you to view. First, we will take a look at the surgery report. You will need to select the date that you want to view data for. The default date will always be for the previous month. Select Exclude if you want to generate the report without using feedback from patients who haven't given their permission to share feedback with the public. Select Include to generate the report using all of the feedback collected regardless of whether the patient has given permission or not. Select Include if you wish to include scanned images of free text comments collected through your paper forms. Selecting Exclude will display these comments transcribed. It's worth noting if you do select Include, it may take a little bit longer to generate your report. This is how the surgery report looks. It will name your surgery here, the date, and the average score that your practice received during the date here. If you scroll down, you will see the patient demographic. There is no data here as the patient hasn't selected either of these options. If you continue to scroll down, you will see all of the patient feedback left, including the free text comments. You can print off these reports and put them up in your surgery. Now we will look at the raw data. Again, you will need to select the date that you want to view data for, and you also have the option of viewing it in a CSV format or an Excel format. Generate the report. This is literally the raw data from your patient feedback. You can do with this as you wish. The last report we will look at is the NHS England submission. Again, you can decide whether you want to use the CSV format or the Excel format. Check the dates and generate the report. Here you will see the dates you selected, the name of the surgery and the sources used to leave feedback by your patients. I Want Great Care have highlighted the key data which will need to be submitted to CQRS. This is the data you will need to give to them.